Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm going to be watching Kawkai Season 1, Episode 3, Echoes. I loved the first episode of this show so much. I already love Kate as a character, and I'm very excited to keep going, scared as well with how it ended. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon, and a general reminder that I always make at the beginning of month is right now is the perfect time to sign up to my Patreon, or anybody's Patreon, because um, the way it normally works with Patreon is you get charged on the first of every month, and once the day you sign up. So obviously if you sign up at the beginning of the month and you get a whole month's worth of time. But yes, uh, without further ado, let's go. What happened to set her on the path of running with Raksuit Mafia? What happened? Was he in the Raksuit Mafia and she's just taking it over now? <laughs> I guess. Oh, did the Ronin kill her father and all of his gang and that's why she wants revenge on him? Because that was like one of the darkest things they had in Endgame, was like, I could kind of understand that he lost himself to the darkness. But these gang members didn't all deserve to be murdered. Prison for any crimes they'd committed? Yes. Oh, you'd have wanted her to have a beautiful life. Now Clint is reaping the repercussions of what he sowed, I guess. How long has it been? Seems like you're mad at me. <laughs> you both owe apologies. Tell her she hurt your feelings, but apologize for pretending that that was a gift for her. Okay, wait. Yeah, when it was always a gift for him. Just okay. Okay. See you. <laughs> She's such a kind person. Well, trust. Does she think Kate killed her parents, or does she think Hawkeye did? Her dad, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. She put it on by accident. She didn't know what it means. She's not Ronan. Look at her, she's nine. <laughs> Poor it's just a rumor. How do you know? Oof. Because he's dead. So Ronan is dead, and the person who killed him is dead. That's convenient. How yeah. Do you it's. It's. She's not, he's not strictly dead, but she's the one that saved him and pulled him out of his darkness like okay, he did for her. This isn't working. Why did you put on this suit in the first place? <laughs> she talks too much. Maya, no! Oh, no, it wasn't put it on, I swear! Love this partnership. How did you do that? Oh, time and experience, my love. Ouch, almost. Ooh, that was on purpose. Oof. Well, that's what we could do with. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! You're not going anywhere. I was just hungry. <sighs> Is he gonna cut the? Yes, I love good arrow work. <laughs> I love that so much. Surprise! <laughs> I love the like inventive making the best of what's around you fighting style. I'm not hearing you, you drive, okay? <laughs> He's driving. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. be careful. I was born I mean, 
screen effective on a car? Holy shit. I love this team though. <laughs> a plunger arrow? <laughs> it's completely useless? Ugh. Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Merry Christmas indeed! I love that he does have so much faith in her archery skills already. I mean, she's more than proven it, but just they're a really good team. She just needs some more real life experience training, which she's getting. I love her, I can't lie. Lucky that wasn't a fire arrow. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I love that so much. At least it's strong. We gotta walk the dog. <laughs> wrong. Call yourself one of the world's greatest archers. <laughs> oh my god, you really think so? <laughs> I won't lie, I, I wasn't sure how I'd do it. I just walk the dog. <laughs> what do you think? They're communicating. But I think I'll be back in the next day or so. How you long is it till Christmas? Uh, Boy, um, I got to tell you, I miss you so much. Oh. Oh. I love you. I love you more. You knew what he'd say. Really? You're doing a good deed, okay? I still feel bad now that she's pulled him away from his life. Not that she did it intentionally. Uncle's still out there, oh dear. Oh. Just don't get his family involved, please. Uh, <laughs> it comes with a price. What does? It's just like you want to live. To really help people. We really try to help people, anyway. Comes a lot of sacrifices. This is good. Yes, Purple. You can't say who Ronan is. Mm -hmm. It's someone close to you, isn't it? I'm not a role model. You were once. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm not a role model to anyone. Before you became the Ronan, you were. I don't need you to get that. My mom canceled my credit card. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh, they're gonna track his card. Dog of pizza. <laughs> pizza dog. <laughs> He's a good boy. All right. Okay, I don't know. Let's get into it. Sounds like a lot of drama. I just thought you should never get involved in organized crime. <laughs> <laughs> pizza dog would never. There's too many coincidences. He was at the auction that night, and yesterday mm -hmm. he offered me a butterscotch. <laughs> And when I tried to stab him in the face to prove he was lying, he parried. 
you try to spend your mother's time. Explain the butterscotch thing. I, uh, great, 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 great grandfather built the building. I tried to swing from that very hmm. chandelier and broke my arm. So, uh, yeah, pretty impressive. You saved her life from across uh, the corner. Impressive. Is he going to recognize the spot at all? Yeah, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> Is that the dog or is someone home? Don't move. This is going really well. Really? I love this episode. I adore Kate. She is fast becoming one of my favourite MCU characters. Um, and I really enjoy her relationship with Clint. Clint for me was always a character I liked. Don't get me wrong. But it was always a character that I think because he was never one of the ones that had their own movie, he only really appeared for a teeny bit in other movies and then was in the Avengers. He was never and then he spent a decent portion of the first Avengers film being mind controlled. He was never a character that I felt as close to, like as connected to as some of the others. Um but I did like him a lot and you know I wanted to see more of him. And then in Endgame, when it was like, oh, he's been going around just slaughtering people left, right, and centre, you know, criminals don't deserve to just get murdered. Um they should go to prison and stuff. Just do, you know, he should have been kneecapping or shooting them in the leg, kneecapping them, although that's a pretty serious injury. It's incapacitating them um, and, and leaving evidence of their crimes so they can be arrested or something. But I can, in a sort of twisted perspective, understand the mindset he was in of my wife, my three little babies, they've been taken from this world, but you guys are left, you criminal people are left to go be criminal people and hurt people and my family had to suffer. I get that that's where he came from. But I am really glad that this show isn't forgetting that that's what happened, that he isn't, they aren't absolving him of that entirely, you know. It's not being like, oh, he was the worst guy ever, but it's also kind of, it's not fully addressing. I mean, it's not, it, it's, it's, it is addressing it even. Um, and showing you the consequences, showing you that the people he killed, while yes, they were gang members, some of them were kind, loving dads, you know, it, it's not black and white, and Zero never was. And that was one of the weirdest choices they did make in Endgame, in my opinion, was Clint doing that. Um, but I think it'll be interesting when Kate finds out that Clint isn't just protecting the Ronin, Clint is the Ronin. But I don't think she's fully put that and that together yet. I wondered if she had when she was asking him about the suit, but then she was like, it's someone you know. I think Hawkeye is on such a pedestal in her head that she could never imagine him being the Ronan. And even if you look at the Ronan and you think, oh, he's an anti-hero or whatever, she could never imagine that being Clint. So that will be an interesting thing when she finds that out, because I imagine she will. Three episodes left. We have the tracksuit mafia. Um, God knows what's going to happen when Uncle finds out. Um, and yeah, I'm, I am stressed. But it's interesting because Kazi or whatever he was called, he... It seems very concerned with this. Obviously, Maya is on a vengeance mission, um, and I don't think she really cares who gets hurt along the way as long as she gets justice for her own father's death. But I almost feel like it's one of those things where that's why what Clint does doesn't really make anything better because now it's just, you know, an eye for an eye situation. Um, and yeah, it, it's not great that they. I think they believe Kate is not the Ronan now. I think her. She genuinely seemed not the Ronan, and with what he said, but she fights exceptionally well. She had the suit. I, they obviously are not going to be like, oh, she's totally unlinked. Um, they're definitely going to want some words with her and with Clint. I am concerned about his family. I don't know how public record his family is. I mean, they didn't used to be, obviously, but then like he did come to a musical and stay in a hotel with his kids. I think it's very find outable that if you know Clint Barton's Hawkeye, you can find the rest of his family. So that does concern me a little bit that the next phone call we get from the family might not be his kids bored, it might be his kids kidnapped. Um, but at the same time, they are far away, they aren't in New York, so hopefully that won't happen. Um, and again, they obviously could go after people close to Kate, but Kate being from a wealthy security company mother, you know, that there she's more protected. Um, and I just think I'm really intrigued with how the show is going to conclude the Ronin arc. Conclude, you know, is Maya just going to be like, oh, I understand. Thank you for your time. You know, I, I, uh, are we going to kill her or get her arrested or whatever? I just, I'm really intrigued with what's going to be the fallout here, how they are going to resolve that going forwards. Um, because part of me does almost feel like he should face some kind of justice for what he did. Because it it wasn't right, you know, 
um, you shouldn't just go around murdering people. And I know a lot of people were a bit like, huh, what? And like in Endgame, I know there are so many people who believe he should have died over Natasha. Now I personally wish none of them had died. And I know there is a theory that Natasha is secretly, al not secretly really, I guess, but she's really alive because when Steve returned the Soul Stone, he, you know, it would have been that it never happened that way. So yeah, something like that along those lines, which I wouldn't hate. I'm not a fan of, you know, Scarlett Johansson, although I am excited for her starring role as a tree in a movie, no doubt soon. Um, but I love Natasha with all of my soul and I would love to see more of her relationship with Yelena in the future and just, you know, like, I really am, I love the character even if the actress is not my favourite. Um, but I don't know, I still think that what he did regardless of anything his children deserve their father and every kid if they have a father out there that wants the love them they deserve him so i do hope he doesn't end up in prison or whatever and i just i don't know is he almost gonna i do i mean i'm pretty sure like 90 percent sure this show is him passing on the mantle of hawkeye to kate he is um you know she's determined to do it and something i hope he does is put her in touch with somebody from the avengers <laughs> i'm not necessarily saying i mean I hope she becomes one of the Avengers. I'm not necessarily saying that she needs to immediately jump into that level, but given that she is going to be going around, she wants to be trying to save people, getting herself in all these pickles, all these situations. If she has a number she can call for someone that can help her, I really, really would think that would be important. A bit like at the end of Shang-Chi when they're like, oh, welcome, you know, welcome to the Avengers. And obviously they don't get numbers then, but you know, like I think that would be something that would be a good way for it to end. And maybe even, he's gonna kind of do a thing of I'm not worthy of being Hawkeye anymore and you're right Hawkeye should be this role model but I'm not that you are um because I think she I mean Kate I really love her character so much and I think she's yet again another character that'll be so great for little girls to see um growing up just I envy children today but no I'm just so excited to see where the show goes next and I just I can't see how we're going to resolve the tracksuit mafia thing especially as there are three episodes left we have that to deal with they wanted the watch why do they want the watch what is the uncle up to um did pizza dog eat the watch no. then Jack and the murder and everything now yeah that could all come down to oh he's just a, a creepy man who her mum has weird taste in but I'm and, you know, I, I feel like the cliffhanger will most likely be resolved with Kate running in and going, oh, it's my friend, I brought him here, or something, you know. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be like they fight to the death or whatever. I think, regardless, Jack is still playing the... If he is a bad guy, which I think he is, he's still playing the, oh, you know, stepdaughters, they always take a while to come around type angle rather than revealing his two colours. I think he's letting on that like he knows she knows but he doesn't know that she knows that she knows you know he doesn't know how much she knows does she know anything is she just being a possessive daughter of a mother you know I think there's a lot to uncover there and I guess we're going to start doing that at the end of the next episode which I'm very excited about um but yeah three episodes left a lot to happen in those three episodes I'm loving this show a reminder that you can find me on edited version of this reaction on my patreon thank you for watching